Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Praveen Kumar Bumiseti. In this video, we'll see one of the frequently asked snowflake interpretation that is, so does truncate command uses virtual warehouse? Okay, this is the question asked recently. So how can you prove that truncate uses warehouse or not? So this is the question. Okay, let us discuss and we can prove it. Okay, see, I'm in dbt, df, dev, db and rasp. And I'm using dbt, extra, dbt, extra small, Warehouse, okay. This is in which status? See, this is in suspend status. Okay, see, okay, small. Okay, see, it's a small. Okay, see, which where it's in suspend status. Okay, now I want to see list of tables. Okay, show tables. Okay, show tables. Now what happened? Now see, let me take any table. Okay, see, let me take this table, country table. I want to see the item. Select star from. Starts from our table. Okay. Now, how many records are there here? Eight records are there. Now, see the warehouse in what status? It is in active status. Now, we'll make it suspend status. Now, requirement is that what does truncate uses warehouse or not? So, right now, the warehouse in which status? It's in suspend status, suspended status. Okay. Now, let me truncate, truncate table, table name. Okay. Now, see truncate table. Okay. It's saying like does not exist. Okay, why? Because see show tables. Okay, is it in which warehouse? It's in schema, public schema. It change to public schema. Public schema. It's in suspense. So confirmation purpose. So this is important. Okay. It's in suspense status. Okay. Let me truncate the table. So table has been truncated. Now see what happened now. This is in suspense status. Okay, see. Conclusion is that what? Okay. Truncate doesn't uses uses any virtual warehouse. Virtual warehouse. Okay, so one more time. This is one way. I make it to suspend. But now what happened now? I make it to active resume. Now it's a resume. Now again see list of tables, show tables. Okay, so take any table. Okay, so which has data. Take this table, control list, see the data. Now, eight records are there. Now, it's in active status. Okay, now, let me truncate this table. Truncate this table. Okay, see, one is what? One is why suspend the warehouse. Now, it's now what happened? Now, see, it's in enable status. But how can you put it using warehouse or not? So, see, go back to here. Go click on this query details. Click on three dots. View query profile. So, this is the statement. View query profile. Okay, see, in the query details. Now, see here. Warehouse size is empty. If it is empty in the sense like what it doesn't using any virtual warehouse. See one more time. So if warehouse size is empty in the sense like what it is not using any warehouse. Confirmation purpose. One more time. Go to the warehouse. Okay. Let me insert one record. Okay. So that you can able to get clarity. Okay. Insert into country list. Okay. Country code. Or is like what values? One comma two comma three. Okay, execute the statement. Okay. Now see confirmation purpose. So click on three dots. View query profile. Okay, query details. Now see it's using warehouse. Conclusion is that what? Conclusion is that what? Okay. Truncate doesn't uses warehouse. Okay. How can you prove one is make it to suspend? Okay and Perform the truncate statement. Other is that what check the query profile. So see, click on this thing or we click on this values. Okay. So click on this truncate statement. Then we can able to check that whether it's using warehouse or not. Okay. See, okay, by using query profile, we can able to understand whether it's using warehouse or not. So completion truncate doesn't use any virtual warehouse. Okay, hope this is clear. If you like the content, subscribe and share the channel. Thank you for watching.